Good morning guys. Uh, today I'm going to share out of 2 Timothy. I'm going to read uh, from chapter 3 verses 1 through 5. But realize this, that in the last days difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, unreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of godliness, although they have denied its power, avoid such men as these. I was kind of troubled because I felt the, the need to share this because I very recently, um, after... Um, prayer and and consideration had to for the first time uh, in my YouTube existence actually mute uh, a channel from my channel uh, I'm not going to say who or the name of the channel. Um, that's not important. Um, uh, because I am not going to malign this person by name. Um, but uh, I will say that whenever somebody is preaching or sharing the word of God yes it's important to share scripture but this particular channel would reply to almost not all but quite a bit of of my um, devotionals about how wrong I was and would just list scripture upon scripture upon scripture. And, you know, for a while, you know, I let it go because I first I just was disagreeing, not seeing eye to eye or not catching it. But soon, not only, in fact, within... Yes, uh, I guess yesterday or the day before, it it's uh, it started getting worse to the point to where the person literally wrote a script, quoted a scripture, and flat out said, "Woe to you for your teaching error. Woe to you if you don't change your ways." You know, and so I'm the type of person I, you know, the person had a channel, they also shared. So I was like, okay, I, you know, I'm going to give them benefit of that and see what what they got. So this channel would share, um, like they would share about how we're supposed to be uh, subject to the government. But yet they would go on and say how they do not trust the police, they have problems with the police. Um, in another one of their videos, they openly, openly confessed that they would curse, you know, put a curse on other channels who were sharing the Word of God who were wrong and them boast that those channels were no longer on YouTube anymore. Uh, this channel also stated that they had animals that were poisoned by those who did not uh, believe in the Word of God and that those people you know, lost loved ones as a result. 
so it, it's very troubling um, to me when I saw all this because I looked at the titles, and, you know, and I didn't watch every single video, but none of the videos that I did see did the person ever mention the gospel. Um, or what Jesus did for us. Um, in fact, as far as I can tell, the only thing that this person referred to Jesus as is was just saying things. Folks, if you're not sharing the word of God and you're not mentioning Jesus Christ in your sharing, and you know, and there's some videos where I don't share or revert what I'm sharing or reading back to Jesus Christ, but bottom line, from Genesis to Revelation, this book is about Jesus Christ and it's about our salvation, um, Old Testament. Um, is about prophecies and stories that tell the forecoming of Jesus Christ. And then, of course, the New Testament is the life of Jesus Christ. You know, his death, burial, resurrection, and his coming back to getting us who are believers. So... Like I said, unfortunately, I had to mute, hide, or whatever you want to call it, this channel uh, from from being able to comment on on my devotionals. Now, whether or not they can still see it, I don't believe I blocked them from it. I just enabled. I just made it impossible for them to comment on it. I mean, yes, it's it's good to use scripture, you know, to to show where you're coming from with what you're saying. But when all you're doing is printing scripture for scripture's sake to try to point out your point of view only as being the only thing right, that's wrong. Because the Holy Spirit teaches everybody something, different things at different times. The core thing about the Bible and about Scripture is that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. He came on this earth um, by a woman, through a virgin, not through a man. He lived this endless life. He died on the cross for our sin, shedding his blood as the ultimate sacrifice for sin. And he died as a result of that. He is buried. He rose from the grave three days later. And then he ascended into heaven. And yes, often you, you hear me say about how he actually stayed on the earth for about 40 days before he ascended to heaven. Folks, that's not made up. That's that's in the Bible. So, so it saddened my heart to have to mute this channel. Um, but I don't want to go as far as saying that this channel is a false prophet. Uh, because it's not my job to accuse or to judge this channel. But it is my job to protect myself and those of my friends and those strangers who I'm trying to share the word of God with from false teachings. And when somebody uses the scriptures to defend their point... 
but yet they never mention Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, and they never mention the gospel at all. That tends to make me feel that such a person is, in fact, a false prophet. They're trying to boast themselves up, trying to, you know, show their knowledge. To me, it's almost like this poor soul is, is kind of like a Pharisee in a way. You know, I mean, I just, I, I honestly am heartbroken for this because, because I don't understand how you can read out of the Bible, read where we're to be, you know, subject to our governing authorities because God's placed in them, then, and we then go and flat out say, I, I don't like the police and I don't follow the police. It, it, it makes no sense. But anyways, um, I love you guys. And I guess this is just kind of a, a devotional that helps share to to keep your eyes open because there are people out there who seem like they're good, but when you really get down and, and read and watch their things, they're not who they say they are, or they think they're greater than who. They really are. I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.